We now know that both Fairfield teenagers accused of murdering their high school Spanish teacher will not be heading to juvenile court. They will be tried as adults. A judge dismissed motions to move their trials to juvenile court. Lawyers for Willard Miller and Jeremy Goodale argued the change would improve their chances for rehabilitation. Both have pleaded not guilty to beating 66 year old Noema Graber to death last November. WHO 13's Taj Simmons reports from Fairfield with the very latest. Noema Graber's death left a scar here in Fairfield, and the recent hearings for Jeremy Goodale and Willard Miller reopened those wounds. As the two teens learned here in this courthouse that they could face life for killing the Spanish teacher if found guilty, people around the town are still wondering why it happened at all. I walk past the pictures of her in the parking lot over there every day. The memorial for murdered Fairfield High teacher Noema Graber is a solemn reminder for fellow teacher Fred Huckey. People handle it in different ways and so we just have to let everybody heal in their own way and, and, and try to be there for each other. Huckey teaches down the hall from Graber's former class. His daughter Nick, a substitute teacher herself, was once Graber's student. Senora Graber was just still there because she just she left such an impression and she was always so genuine about it. Both of them are trying to understand why Graber students Willard Miller and Jeremy Goodale allegedly killed her last November. I don't want anyone to like get off easy if they shouldn't. But at the same time, I don't want to spend the rest of my life carrying anger towards these kids. It's especially hard to handle for the older Huggy, who had both teens in his classroom. I know where they sat. I can picture one of them petting the dog. You know, I have a, I have a classroom dog. If these Fairfield kids grew up to kill their teacher before they turned 18, Huggy says it is still a shock to the entire school system. I know my people here, and if there were signs, someone would have reported and there were no signs. Sometimes it's totally hidden. The darkness of the crime looms over the county courthouse, but the Huckies refuse to let Graber's bright spirit flicker out under the weight of the tragedy. She would want things to, to move ahead, especially for the kids that she loves. I think it's good to remember, uh, but it's not good to just wallow in the pain. Those emotional wounds are sure to reopen when the two teens stand trial. Right now, Goodale's is scheduled to start in August and Miller's in November. For now, in Fairfield, I'm Taj Simmons. Now, prosecutors haven't shared a possible motive for why the teens wanted to kill Graber.